Hi everyone, I hope this uh, tutorial is helpful to you in order to uh, maximize your member benefits for the Elgin Hispanic Network. Uh, if you uh, find your way over to our elginhispanicnetwork.org website, uh, this is what you'll come across. And over here on the top right, you'll see the sign up for eBlast and you also see this little blue box with the uh, avatar of uh, a silhouette. If you click on that, it asks you to sign in. You sign in with your email and your password. Uh, now, if you don't remember your password, there's always this little area down here where you can click on it and uh, we can get you your password, reset it or whatever. But if you do, then of course you put in your password and you go ahead and click log in. Now that you're logged in, not much really changes except for one little thing. And that's this right here you'll see has been added. This members only. And there's only one area you can go to, and that's the actual directory. So uh, right off the bat, this is not something that's uh, available on the regular website, only when you've logged in. And if you click on that directory, you'll see our terms of use have been listed, some of the do's and don'ts about the utilization of the membership uh, information. Uh, and then you can, of course, uh, search by name, or as you can see, it's already listed by name, organization, and the type of membership. Uh, there is uh, up to 156 that you you can see uh, it is by alphabetical order, last name. Uh, so there it is, uh, everyone there. Let's say, for example, I, I want to look at uh, myself here. I click on this uh, and it'll show me what uh, inf a little bit of information about uh, me, my email, my organization, my phone number, and what have you. Uh, so that could be very useful for you as you try to get a hold of uh, other members and their information. Uh, so getting back to uh, the other par uh, parts, once you've logged in, uh, you not only have the members only, but typically what most people want to do is uh, take a look at their profile, edit their profile, add people, subtract people. And again, you do that by coming over here. And when you click on it, it gives you now an option to view the profile. Of course, you could also change your password if you need to, and that's where you log off. So let's take a look at the view profile. Once you click on that, uh, here's my basic profile and yours will be similar. Um, we do have uh, the details here of your level, uh, and there's only one level at this point. Uh, and we do have the bundle of three members. My subscription period is for one year on January 1st, and there are no recurrent payments. My member status is active tells me when you've been a member since and when your renewal date. Some of you may have an option to renew, uh, some of you may not. If you owe money, if there's an outstanding uh, pending, uh, renewal is pending, you'll see a, uh, a red or yellow uh, notification here. Uh, under your bundle, uh, you do it reminds you you have three limit, or it views three, uh, and here are the members that I have in my bundle. Uh, here's where you want to, if you want to update your person uh, representative for the Elgin Hispanic Network, you click on this. Here's where you can add them, delete them, update the information, etc. Uh, and then, of course, it gives you the rest of your profile information. Some of you also have the ability to, uh, all of you have the ability to add a photo, which I think would be uh, something that could be really helpful for you uh, to get to know what people look like at the network and just make it that much easier to uh, network when we, we do get together. Uh, you also have the ability to connect your social networks, uh, which I have here with my Google Plus and Facebook. Uh, at this point, those are the only two uh, social networks that uh, Wild Apricot has available for us. So that's the basic uh, edit under my profile. That's just telling you what it looks like. Uh, if you want to go ahead uh, and edit your actual profile, you click on Edit Profile, and here's where you can actually start changing information and, and name. I, for example, my organization, let's say it should be the ampersand, and I'll put that right here, and that should be good to go. I hit Save, and now it just saved it as that. Uh, so that's under Edit Profile. Now, if you click on uh, Edit uh, Profile, again, Aside from the bundle summary information that you can change, uh, you also can, that's profile, you can click on privacy and it lets you edit uh, what kind of details you want everybody to see or anybody to see, what kind of information only members can see, or what kind of information you never want anybody to be able to see. Uh, again, I want to encourage everyone to uh, remind you that this is a networking group and so the more you make available to members and to anybody, 
uh, the better likely uh, uh, your your network uh, effectiveness will increase. So that's your your my profile under privacy. If you click on email subscriptions, this just tells you the two things that right now you're subscribed to for the Elgin Hispanic Network, and these are both on by default. So let me uh, cancel that because uh, I'm not want to change anything. Uh, but again, so that was under edit my profile. Uh, my profile direct uh, my directory profile. If you want to look at it, there it is. Uh, who I am, my information, uh, that notice photography that I have included and agreed to, as well as the two members that uh, I have as part of our our network, uh, as part of I'm sorry, as part of my uh, of our uh, our bundle. Uh, so under my profile, if you hit privacy, uh, there's that information. Right now, we're not in edit mode, so it does not let us edit. I'm just viewing it. Uh, email subscriptions, you can tell I've been subscribed. Uh, my event registrations, this lets you know all the things that you've uh, uh, confirmed via email at events that we've had. If you want to get an idea of all the things that you've attended, uh, here's a nice little uh, list. It also tells you the, the amount and fee that was involved. And speaking of fees, the last one, of course, you could also search under event uh, if there's a lot of them. Uh, speaking of fees and amounts, uh, you can go down here to invoice payments. Here's where you can pay your uh, balance due, your invoice if there is any. It'll tell you right there what your balance is and how much. Uh, you, again, you can search the transactions. Uh, if you want to actually print another invoice, uh, you can click on the actual invoice, and there it is, your, our invoice number, how much, et cetera, and you can print it if, if your employer uh, so requires it. So that's it in a, kind of in a nutshell, some of the neat things that uh, you can do uh, once you've logged in. Of course, every other uh, uh, a menu item is available to you under as long as you're logged in, just like it would on a regular web page. Uh, except for obviously editing the things that we've been editing. So hopefully that helps. If you got any questions, please feel free to um, email us at info at elginhispanicnetwork.org and we'll do our best to just uh, get the, their, your answers as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Take care and I hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.